guess I feel like uh, all teachings or all human interaction is really in some way in an evolutionary path. In some way it's that's the magic of it, you know, some way drawing closer to the truth, let's say, or some way drawing closer to a way to express the truth. And the truth meaning in this way, in this sense, uh, something very simple of just uh, what works in life, you know, what makes people get together. And at one time we just thought, well, okay, uh, there's always going to be conflict and just uh, don't get close to it, you know, you don't need it in your life. And uh, and things will work out. But now we have these other ideas, other concepts, that uh, the planet, the, even the planet, is not that elastic anymore. <laughs> and it would take all the shenanigans that we'd like to pull uh, pull on it, you know. And uh, it's kind of a game, but uh, so is the teaching. Or the teaching or, or speaking about life is a game, too. And... Uh, for some reason, there's a willingness to play it. And uh, I don't know. I, I feel that there's a lot of people that are left out of the equation. Could you tell me what you mean by that, Richard? A lot of people left out of the equation. What, what would that mean? Well, uh, the people that I know that are speaking about uh, what's true about life, they talk to so few people, and uh, we just say, "Well, the other people aren't ready, or they're not interested, or they're, you know." But uh, the way it's languaged, it's not interesting either. I mean, uh, so that's kind of been something that I've I've looked at. I've looked at a lot, and I continuously look at, you know, what is interesting about this teaching, and and what is not interesting about it. And uh, just to say, and so many, even teachers, uh, I would say that they just say, well, you know, really this moment is all there is, and that's what's happening, and uh, I'm just aligned with what's happening. And uh, who am I to have a concept about it or try to uh, make any uh, doership about it, you know, how I'm going to make the change? I love the question. I love, I, I love the whole movement of your mind as as we're moving through this and what always comes to me when i because of course this is an obviously wonderful question to ask you know but when we talk like this it sounds like that there is um a movement from unconscious to conscious you know that we are trying to move from the most of the teachings would say that the whole point of this is to move from the unconscious into I'm speaking psychologically now into into a conscious world and that's the movement that's happening now now I hear all that and um, all, all I have is my own life Richard and I want to ask you because I think it would be relevant isn't this your experience I don't think we have to worry about the cosmos or even the planet because, you know, I think, again, that's a concept, but it, but the excitement is in your, well, let me be personal, in my own life, I have moved from a relatively unconscious person, just loving and not loving uh, my early years and all that, and moved to where I am now. And if I look at that as the truth of life for me, that something has happened. And as I look at the people around me, I don't know about globally. I'm talking about just the people that I know. There is, a, there is, um, there is a something deeply moving things from the let's use these words, the unconscious to the conscious uh, part of of our life. And when we, when there is living from the conscious part, then somehow it's like you come up out of the water and your head's in the sun. You know, it doesn't mean, you know, you've been, a, I imagine, well, I was a surfer. So, you know, you come up out of the water and your head's above water, but the waves still hit you. 
You know, it's not like all of a sudden the waves are gone and you have a calm sea, which is the idea that people give. But in reality, the excitement is, I think, we're learning how to ride the waves better. Well, and, I mean, it's, a, it's also the media. I mean, because media okay. now, uh, media can, can reach a lot of people. And before, it was not that easy to reach a lot of people. You know, there, what was there? Radio and television and books. But I mean, in other words, uh, we're talking from the con unconscious to the conscious. And what we're saying is that uh, it's a movement of attention. So in a way, uh, what all these teachings are is like where to look, you know, like where to put that attention or, you know, are there any tricks about moving attention? Or, uh, I mean, uh, how is the mechanism of attention? Why does it go where it goes? Maybe that could be even interesting to know. And then you can see that, uh, you know, in a way it can be moved or it can be diffused, you know. The urgency to go where it has been going can be diffused. Or even other things like uh, many of us have just uh, allowed attention just to free flow. And never well, thought, that's, but, never really that's thought it. of uh, of uh, putting ourselves in between there somewhere. Well, this is what I would say is an exact re reflection of the unconscious moving to the conscious. And, but but and I love it. And the question still is so exciting for me. What is it? And we can't answer this question, but we can certainly feel like, what is it that's moving so many people now to want to begin exploration not just through uh you know non-duality but there's there's so many ways and it's um i just see it as huge uh, and my delight is something seems to be moving this forward uh and i don't think that it's um necessarily an individual uh movement i think it's it's it seems quite large to me Richard, and, and it's exciting